Check it out right now. Notice! Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter, uh, the Pewter Police with any info. You're not you're not as fast as me. And one here who does have a normal type Pokemon, and she's like, Eek! Did you touch me? Mainly because Gyarados. We're going to be using that Pokemon from here on in. Fail Hydra. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. And yes, it is part, what, seven? Seven, six, seven? Yeah, I completely forgot, but yes, we are finally here in front of Mount Moon, and we're about to go in there, and it's going to be a nice episode right here. Um, now, off screen, we did a little bit of training. Yes, we got, we got Hydra up to level 10 right here. Now, it was a bit of a... <laughs> it was a bit of an adventure just trying to train this guy, but still no attack. You still have to train him up to, what, level 15 for it to learn its first attack right here. And in the process, yes, I did I did train up my peg hammer just a little bit. Didn't learn any new moves. Didn't want to train Thrasher right here because if I train him a little too much, might evolve. And uh, that might be bad because we might miss the whole evolution part. Um, Sparky was part of the whole training too. Those Spearows and Sandshrews can really get at you. Don't forget those Raditas, too. So, here we go. Let's go into Mount Moon and just get our way to Cerulean City right here. So, here it is. M Mount Moon Tunnel Entrance. Like we didn't know. Okay, so, unfortunately, we can't get any repels right now. Well, we don't have any repels. So, we're going to be enduring a few Pokemon attacks here and there. Mainly by Zubats. And here we found ourselves a, the TM-12, which is Water Gun might be using that a little later right there and there's a Pokemon trainer and here's another item a potion which is good very very good so this guy might be a bug trainer so huh do I really want to do this probably okay so I'm gonna switch it up with Thrasher right here because this should be the episode where we evolve our Thrasher maybe once not twice maybe or not once but twice so here it is another battle against who a bug trader. I was right. Again, guys, I've been playing this game for like, what, 20 years already, so <laughs> I already know what's going to happen right here, especially in Pokemon Yellow. So let's go with a Thunder, or no, not a Thunder attack, a Horn attack right here. And oh yes, I completely forgot to say this again, but yes, this is a live calm, and uh, I'm playing this right now as I'm speaking. And you know, I found it found it to be very, very uh, what, interesting how, you know, I can get more things done by just live calming than, you know, just... I guess, uh, recording and then just doing the hide or not the, the narration later while I'm trying to speak here. So I'm going to go with Hydra right here because, of course, Kakuna is only going to be doing uh, Harden, so might as well get Hydra exposed and then switch him out for another Pokemon, which, of course, will be Sparky right here. Note to self, only take on the shell Pokemon with Hydra because, let's just face it, Hydra only knows what splash. And, wow. Critical hit right there, but there's another hardened attack right there. But let's go with that quick attack. And it's not gonna do much. I kinda wanna prolong this guy's misery. Not really. We're just beating him right now. And that's a lot of experience points. Here we have level 17. Like I said, guys, Sparky's been doing a lot of training with Hydra just to get Hydra into level 10 right there. And uh, mo money, mo money right there. And uh, well, let's read this sign first. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Well,. I don't, I, I, I definitely don't disagree with that. So here we have another trainer. What? I'm waiting for, for friends to find me here. Well, where are they? I see a friend over there, over there, over there, and I see you. So here we go, last wants to fight. She's coming out with a Clefairy, and yes, you can find Clefairy here in Mount Moon. And uh, might as well go with that low kick. And just like Jigglypuff, be aware of its sing attack. We'll put you to sleep. And that pound attack does some damage right there, but not enough damage. As you can see, critical hit, pick hammer wins yet again. And, well, I guess that was an easy one right there. It's a good thing I prepared, and yeah, you lost, babe. You lost. Okay, so what do you have to say for yourself? I heard that there are very, some very uh, rare fossils here. I don't deny it. Not one bit. So... We still haven't been attacked by one of these Pokemon, and no, guys, I didn't even use a repel. I'm being honest. Um, well, there we go. And it's a Zubat. Wow. Our, our luck right there. 
Okay, so I'm gonna not get hurt by this guy, and uh, might as well switch my Thrasher up because I don't think I don't think Big Hammer will be uh, making it out of here like with all its wits right there. And once you go up here, you will see a man in a black suit, and he's like, "We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters." Pokemon gangsters. Huh. As you can see, he has his whip and one Pokeball, and he looks all bug-eyed. So bring it on. Here he comes out with a Sandshrew and uh, should match up well with my Thrasher right here. Unless if it knows its actual ground type moves. So here we go, Horn Attack, getting that attack first and that Scratch Attack is going to take a little bit. So I'm going to go with that Double Kick right here. No, it's not a Rock type, but you know, it gives me two hits in one, uh, one turn right there. And uh, another Scratch Attack, wow. So let's go with this Horn Attack, finish him off, finish him off. I finished him. Alrighty. And still not evolving, so it's coming out with a Rattata. So I'm gonna go with Pig Hammer right here. Mm hmm. Rattata, you look. You look weak. So I'm gonna destroy you right here with the low kick. Come on! Finish him off. And that was it. That's how the cookie crumbles right there. And, uh. Alrighty! Okay! So this guy was made for my team. I swear. He was made for my team because I have all the, uh. Well, I resist all of it. If you want to put in that in that in that aspect right there, and there it is, a thunder shock for the win. Say goodbye to Zubat. And look at that! Draven defeats a rocket, and he's like, "I blew it." Mm-hmm. You did. So let's see what you have to say. Darn it! All my associates won't uh won't stand for this. Yeah, you got beat by a ten-year-old guy, huh? And there's another Pokemon attack right there. Now I could have. I could have just edited this whole thing out, but since I'm doing a live com, why should I? I mean, it, it, live comms are so much fun, and you know, I think that's the one thing that really deterred me from, you know, growing on my Draven XC711 channel. Now we got an HP up. Um, you could use that to raise up your uh, your Pokémon's HP, but since I've been playing this game for quite a while off screen, and on top of that, uh, what else? Oh yeah, I've been playing it off screen, just planning for this whole this whole moment. I could use that HP up to well, I could sell that HP up for more money because remember, any kind of vitamins such as like rare candies or potions, protein or my bad, proteins and all that stuff, they go for 4,500. So that could prove useful in the money department right there. And here we have an uh, well, Paris. Paris are very very rare around here, so you know what? Might as well. I might, I might as well capture it while I'm here. Let's see. Scratch attack. Okay, so let's go with the tap attack. Try not to make this guy faint right here. And, uh, okay. Luckily, I do have Pokeballs with me. So, not the potion. Four Pokeballs. You know what? I might as well capture any Pokemon that are... Oh, God dang it! Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so he survived. Come on. Stay in that Pokeball. Come on, Paris. You know you want to be my Pokemon. And there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a Paris. So that leaves us with just two Pokeballs, which really sucks right there. So here we go, Paris, the mushroom Pokemon, burrows under the ground to gnaw on, on tree roots. The mushroom on its back absorbs most of the nutrition, which is pretty cool. And I guess in the anime, you know, I guess it's used for potions and whatnot, or to make healing items. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up my Thrasher right here. And I might as well switch him up with Hydra. Just just in case. Wait, I don't know why I did that. Hold on, I gotta switch that up again. I may have made a mistake, so let's go with Sparky right here. And uh Actually, you know what? I gotta do it again. Oh god. Okay, let's go with Thrasher. Because I have a feeling this guy does have an electric type Pokemon. And uh, before we even battle that guy, we we're taking on a Zubat, which, well, it's right here, it's right now, it's hip. Might as well capture him while I'm at it. Do we get a Pokeball in here? I want to say yes, but my gut feeling says no, so he's using that Leech Life attack. Takes a ni nice amount, and you know what? Screw it, I, I, I have to beat him. You know, that that's the risk of trying to capture a Pokemon, so that's... Wow, look at that! Huh! Okay, so we just...
defeat this Zubat and Thrasher's finally evolving. So as you can see, Nidoran Male is finally evolving at level 16. And the good thing is we're in Mount Moon. Hello, Nidorino. We're in Mount Moon. And <laughs> we can't even check out our Pokemon. He's like, what? Don't sneak up on me. Well, might as well check out our Pokemon right here. We never, ever, ever battled with a Nidorino or Nidorino when we had it or when we just evolved it. But like I was saying, we're in Mount Moon. We're about to found a, find a, mount, a Moonstone. So, yeah, I'm going to reveal it right here right now, guys. We're going to be evolving our Nidorino pretty soon right here. And as you can see, we're having a pretty good time beating this, uh, this Magnemite. And, uh, well, that's the only thing you can do right there, huh? So let's go finish this guy. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, I'm not panicking, but that tackle attack did miss on the last turn, which that was a given right there. And as you can see, getting more experience points, might as well switch it. Let's go with Pickhammer right here. Alright, this Voltorb right here looks like a Pokeball, but screams out, I am going to kick your butt. So here we go with the low kick attack. Does take a nice amount of HP right there, and that Screech attack fails yet again. And there we go. Oh yes. Oh yes, how good it is. Pig Hammer grows to level 15, and it learns Karate Chop. So this is a big positive right here. Huge positive. And he's like, my Pokemon won't do. Yeah, pretty much. Anywho, let's go ahead and check out our new Pokemon, Nidorino. As you can see, its stats grew uh, grew just a little bit more. It's, still, uh, it's mainly an attacker right there. Uh, its speed is pretty good right there. It's still a poison type. And as you can see, um, still has the same attacks, but like I said, we will have, uh, we will evolve it later on into this episode. And I gotta check out Hydra right here. 319H uh, experience points till level 11. So, what I'm planning on doing here is I'm probably gonna have to be switching them out. Well, I'm gonna be switching them out right now because there will be a rare candy around here. I might as well use that rare candy. And, uh, well, since we have that Zubat right here. Jesus, they like to go for Leech Life. Ah, okay, that was a super effective move, so we're just gonna run away right here. Might as well not risk any, uh, uh, some HP or PP right here. So, here we have another potion. And, uh, let's see. Let's just switch out Hydra right here. Now, our main goal is to try and evolve Hydra to our Gyarados, our, our mascot Pokemon. So here it is, a rare candy. What I what I normally like to do first if I get a rare candy is I like to train up the po if the Pokemon that I'm targeting with the, the rare candy is close to gaining well, getting a level, I might as well gain the level plus give the rare candy so it could be a two for one deal right there. Which is mainly what I'm gonna do right now. So here we have another bug trainer, I think. Go through this cave and get to Cerulean City. Hmm. Did not know that. I really didn't, honestly. Blew my mind right there. So here we go, Bug Catcher sends out his Caterpie. Mm -hmm. And here comes out my Hydra. But unfortunately, we're gonna be switching it up yet again because, yeah, Hydra can't attack. He only has Splash. And that String Shy is not doing you well right now, buddy. You missed. So there it is. Oh, Jesus. So this Caterpie is a little strong, so here we go again with another Thundershock. That is another victory for us right there. Hydra gains experience points, and he's coming out with a Metapod, so we might as well get Hydra at this. Now, Bug Catchers are the safest Pokemon trainers to go after, uh, because they both, they have, they have the Worm Pokemon and the Shell Pokemon, and, you know, that's easy pickage for all of us right there, so I'm going to switch him up again, go with uh, with uh, Sparky, and he's just using a hardened attack. So, let's go with that Thundershock right here. Mm -hmm. You know, you could have evolved him into Butterbee. I'm still going to be complaining about this. So, there goes the Thundershock yet again. And say goodbye to Metapod. Hydra, gain some experience points. And one more Caterpie, so let's go back to Hydra. Oh, God. Again, guys, if you want to get a Gyarados, especially this early, you're going to have to suffer just a little bit because, you know, it's no easy task trying to to gain some levels here from what, what is essentially the weakest Pokemon in the, the whole entire world. So, let's go right ahead, Sparky the, Sparky the Pikachu, and that really doesn't do much right there, so... Gotta love that string shot right there. 
which doesn't do much because my Pikachu's speedy as hell. So, there it is. More experience points. Bugcatcher, you've been defeated. He's like, I lost! Well, duh. Okay, so, gotta switch it up. No, we're not gonna switch it up, we just gotta move now. So, moving on forward, we get attacked by another Pokemon. And it's another Zubat right here, so... What we're going to do is run away because, yeah, Hydra is, it is faster than a Zubat, so that's the only plus side. And here we have an escape rope, which is good. And, well, might as well battle this person right here. Okay. Wow, it's bigger in here than I thought. It is. It, it, it's pretty big. Alrighty. Okay, so here we have Alas. And she's coming out with her Oddish here, so I'm going to go with my Hydra yet again. Now the big risk right here is that it, it is a Grass-type Pokemon, and none of my Pokemon right here are... Well, I can go with Thrasher right here. Grass-types and Poison-types, even though it doesn't really have a Poison-type attack. And, well yeah, Oddish is a Poison-type Pokemon too, so that's another... That's another biggie right there, so here we go with the Horn attack. And that does enough damage right there, so hopefully they stop doing this whole absorb thing. Doesn't really do much right here. Come on, horn attack, come on. Finish him off. And that's how you end that story right there. Hydra grows more experience points, and she's coming out with that bell spread, so let's go back to Hydra right here. Oh god. The wonders of training a magic carp. It's it's amazing. So let's go with pick hammer. Show him a little love right here, because remember, he still karate chops us, takes our hat away, you know, that kind of deal. And uh, that Vine Whip will not do much, but I'm going to go with that Scratch Attack. Fighting type attacks don't really do much with Grass types here. And, okay, so we got we to gotta end quickly right here, because this guy is uh, up in his special attack, or it's special, right here. And as you can see, Hydra grows to level 11. See what I mean, guys? You just got to suffer just a little bit. Just a little bit for that. And yes, you lost it, babe. Anywho, now that we got that rare candy, I might as well use it on Hydra. So there we go, a two for one right there. And uh, let's see. Ah, uh, we could we could still last. So let's switch it out and stop getting hit all the time right here. Go with Sparky, and uh, let's move on forward right here. There's no more items in this area, so. I'm going to go downstairs right here, and I think we're going to be uh, meeting up with another Team Rocket member right here. And before we even do that, yeah, another Pokemon attack. And it's that elusive Zubat that, you know, we can never catch. Yeah, I'm not going to capture you. you got to be at least a level 10 to resist this whole thing. And as you can see, there is another Team Rocket member, but before we even battle this guy, let's grab this thing. Here we have the TM01, which I believe is Mega Kick or Mega Punch. Let me check. Yeah, it's Mega Punch. Who could learn this? Pikachu and Pig Hammer. Might as well save that for a little bit. Alright. And, <laughs> yep. Gotta love those Zubats. You really do. Oh, look at that. Level 11. Okay, so I'm gonna capture you. I'm gonna try and capture you. So here we go with a quick attack. Oh, come on. Alright. I can do this. I can do this. Come on, don't finish him off, Sparky. Don't finish him off. Okay, alrighty, so we're working with a little magic right here. We're not gonna use any Thunder Wave attack because that could be bad. So here we go, Pokeball, go. Here we go. And there it is. We got ourselves another Pokemon, Zubat. And let's check out that Pokedex. As you can see, it emits ultrasonic cries while it flies. They act as a sonar used to check uh, for objects in its way. So it's, it's, a, it's essentially blind right here. And no, I will not give you a nickname because you're not going to be part of our team. It, it was very tempting, to be honest with you. Very tempting because Zubats, they are a flying type Pokemon, but uh, I'd rather not use them because I already have a flying type Pokemon in mind. So before we do anything, yeah. We're going to be battling this guy right now. So here it is, another Pokemon battle. And this guy, he's like, we're pulling a big job right here. Get lost, kid. Okay, alrighty. Them's fighting words. I'm going to back him up right now. So here it is, another Team Rocket member. And he's coming out with a Zubat. Easy pickings. Easy, easy pickings right here. Let's go, Pikachu. Or Sparky. 
you know, I'm still getting used to this whole thing right here. This is actually the first walkthrough, uh, well, duh, this is the first walkthrough in my channel, and this is the first time ever in a walkthrough where I'm basically giving Pokemon nicknames, and this is gonna be bad right here. Alright, that confusion is not working. The thing, the thing is for me, I don't really like giving nicknames for my Pokemon because... I don't see the use for them, and the other thing too is I'm not really good at picking up nicknames or just thinking of nicknames. But right here, I'm just whatever. I'm just thinking of them right now, right up at the spot. And uh, let's go ahead and finish this little Ekans off because we don't want him to beat us. Mm -mm. Oh god, the dreaded rap attack, which will not let us attack. Come on, let us go. Come on, come on, Ekans. Spelled snake backwards. Come on. There it is. Say goodbye. Alrighty, okay. And that's more experience points for all our Pokemon right there. And so, you're good. Mm-hmm, I'm really good. And it's like, if you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. You know what? You don't know this. You may not see this right now, but I'm flipping you off. That's right, flipping you off. Big guy right there. And here we found ourselves an ether which could be used to rate or to restore some of your Pokemon's power points, which, you know, could prove useful. I don't normally use them because I normally beat all these Pokemon trainers beforehand, before I waste any of my uh, power points. So, I'm gonna run away from here. I guess one of the biggest things that's making me uh, go 20 minutes long right here is because of the battles right here. And here we have another guy. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to heal, I think, Thrasher right here. Yes, we're gonna heal him. And Sparky because you are weak on the defense. All other Pokemons don't exist. So, actually, you know what? It'd be great to put Pig Hammer for it. You know what? Let's go Hydra. He needs to grow another extra level here and there. So here it is, another Pokemon trainer. I believe he's a youngster. He's like, did you come to explore too? Probably. Maybe. I don't know. So here it is, another youngster, and he will be coming out with a Rattata. Harmless, we shall see. Let's go, Hydra. Hail, Hydra. Yeah, you, you guys know where that's from, right? Hell yeah. And as you can see, that quick attack hits us pretty hard. But we're going to hit harder with this low kick right here. Fighting type move. And there we go. That's how you end a Rattata pretty quickly right there. And uh, let's see. What are you coming out? Another Rattata. I might as well do that. Go with Hydra and then switch it out with Pig Hammer. Could be risking a lot of experience, or not experience points, but HP, which, you know, you don't want any of your Pokemon to faint around here. Normally, I come around here with just three Pokemon, which I think I did. Yeah, no, kinda. I mean, I have Magikarp, that's my fourth. But it's not really like an official Pokemon until it starts attacking something. And, uh, alright, he's coming out with a Zubat right here, so let's go back to Hydra. Please do not confuse my Pokemon. Please, please do not confuse my Pokemon. Alrighty, let's go. Come on, Sparky. Let's do this. Come on. And that is that leech life that we've been not really dreading. Alrighty, so let's go with that Thundershock. And as you can see, that's the end of that Zubat right there. The pesky Zubat. And more, more money, more moolah. Losing stinks. It really does, man. I lost my first battle to Gary. How do you think I still feel about that? No longer undefeated. And here we have this gentleman right here. But before, oh god. Seriously, you ruined it. You ruined it, Zubat. Thanks a lot. You ruined it. <sighs> god, I, I had it all planned out, man. I like it, like I had it in my mind. Before anything, here we find ourselves a Moonstone, and yes, we are going to use it because, why not? Well, let's go ahead and use that Moonstone on this one magical Pokemon right here, and here you go. Before the Cerulean City Gym, we finally have a fully evolved Pokemon, and actually, I feel happy about this because we managed to use Nidorino for like, what, three or four battles, which, that's like a new record for me, and here it is, guys, our Nidoking. Pretty good Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and check this out right here. Thrasher. Now a Nidoking gains another typing, which is a ground type attack. It's pretty speedy, 
Very good defense. It's special so right there in its attack. It's through the roof, which is good. And uh, let's see. I do have a few TMs here that I would love to give out. So I'm not going to be using that TM12 because I want to give it... Uh, you know what? You know what? I might as well give it to... Uh, might as well give it to Thrasher. Good thing about a Nido King and a Nido Queen, you can learn basically any move. Like an Ice type, Fire type, it doesn't matter, it will learn it. And you know what? I'm gonna give Water Gun to this guy. I have Bubble Beam planned for uh, for a uh, Hydra when it evolves. And then, uh, let's see, this Mega Punch will do nicely to my Thrasher. So, here's the Mega Punch, and yes, learn four moves, and I'm gonna get rid of Tackle right here. That is right. Alrighty. Look at that. This is the greatest thing ever, so... Pikachu, do you like me? Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's happy. <laughs> oh, he wasn't happy when we lost to Gary. And, wow. These Zubats are pesky. You are pesky Zubats. Okay, so... No, I do not want to battle with Hydra right now. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and try out our new Pokemon. Right here. Alright, sorry Hydra, but we're gonna have to use Thrasher first. Because it's a badass. He's like, whoa, you shocked me! Oh, you're just a kid! Yes, I am. I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid from Pallet, trying to make his mama proud. That's all I'm trying to do. But these zoot bats won't leave me alone. That's right. So here we go, Thrasher. The Nido King. And look at that. We got a water type move. We do have a water type Pokemon, but really it can't attack right now, but... We do have a water type move user. And look at that, it grows to level 17. Thrasher, you are you are a beast. You are a beast of a Pokemon in generation one. Eventually we all know that, you know, you 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 you, you grow up to be something else later on in the lines. And well, let's see. He's coming out with another Onyx right here, so might as well use a water gun attack. Now one of the two favorite, uh, one of my two favorite Pokemon's in the Kanto region is, of course, Nido King. Love using them because of uh, its move set, its move pool, and uh, not only that, but you get to evolve and be, uh, you get to get a Nido King before the Cerulean City Gym, which is great. Anywho, we're gonna pause right here, guys. It's already like 25, 26 minutes. Stay tuned in the next episode. We're gonna be finishing off right here in Mount Moon. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.